Hi friends, welcome back. We're doing some more time walking today. However, we are on the Retribution Paladin. Um, for some context, the Retribution Paladin is item level 433, and we do have our 4 set. Um, so that's Judgment and Hammer of Wrath deal 10% increased damage and 15% increased critical strike damage. Hammer of Wrath applies Judgment to enemies, and Judgment increases the damage enemies take from your Holy Power Spenders by an additional 15%. Hammer of Wrath now hits four nearby targets for 20% of its damage. Um, a lot of people feel that Retribution Paladin is uh, overtuned right now, very strong. I really, really like it. It's just an alt for me, but I do have a lot of fun playing Red Paladin. I'm not an expert, but I do think it's really fun. So we're currently doing Wrath of the Lich King for time walking, and we're going to jump into a group here, this DPS. We currently have Retribution Aura on for the party. When any party or raid member within 40 yards takes more than 30% of their health and damage, each person gets an increase to their... to their... 5% increased damage to and healing for 30 seconds. So we are in Utgard Keep, which is a fun dungeon. I've been hoping to get put in a Utgard Pinnacle dungeon so that I can maybe get them out. Uh, if you don't know, it's the blue proto drink from Scotty. Scotty. I've been really hoping to get that at some point. I try weekly um, and daily sometimes, but no luck. So if you've never played Rep Paladin, it's a melee class. And they're really strong. They've got a lot of utility and healing. Um, and they do a lot of damage especially in AoE. I do have my damage meters turned off right now because I have to play with a smaller screen for recording and it just is too busy, so I turned it off. But I would say on time walking, damage isn't really accurate anyways because things die really quickly and it's not very difficult. If you play World of Warcraft, it's a really great time to level up. I recently just got my Turbulent Timeways mount for doing five weeks of time walking in a row, which I can show you after this dungeon. I do have a weak aura that you might see pop up here. That just gives me a heads up to um, interrupt if I have it available. And I really like it, because I run keys sometimes on this character, too. And sometimes I can get a little overwhelmed in keys, so having the reminder to interrupt really helps. I don't get so overwhelmed anymore, because we've been um, in this season for quite a while, so I know the dungeons pretty well. We ran a dungeon before this that the recording didn't work out, which is probably for the best because the tank skipped all the bosses and we had to go back, so it's probably for the best that we didn't record that one. I was also thinking of doing um, a Guardian Druid video. I recently learned how to tank on Guardian Druid, and I've been really enjoying it. And I thought it would be fun to do a tank video as well, since I've done DPS and healing. We 
you can skip this pack if you stay close enough. It depends if that guy's padding over, you can't skip it, but usually you can. This tank is confident, but he's losing aggro a lot. So hopefully, you know, we don't die to that. I don't think we will, again, because we're a paladin. We can bubble or shield or heal ourselves. So on this character, I do have a trinket that I have to use, which is the elemental elementium pocket anvil. It's a really good trinket for rep paladins. It's from the raid. Um, but it is on use, so you do have to use it physically. I usually save it for harder enemies, maybe this boss. But it sharpens your weapon, giving your Crusader Strike, Crusading Strikes, and Templar Strikes a chance to deal 172 additional Shadow Flame damage on hit. And then on top of that, it also has an on use ability, which I can read as well. Okay, we got a transmog, which is nice. So, strike your weapon against the anvil to strengthen it further, dealing 54 shadow flame damage to nearby enemies and increasing the on-hit damage by 33% until shortly after leaving combat. Stacks five times. And just keep in mind that the numbers will be reduced or tuned down because we're in a dungeon and so the item level is only 75 instead of 437. I think the dungeons this week are level 30. Yeah, so pretty easy. got my Avenging Wrath leaves out, which was probably not needed, but might as well just use it. I'm probably, I don't really need to do time walking because of my gear level, but I thought maybe I would just do it for fun. Because I'm a Draenei, my paladin mount is a Elec. It's kind of cute. This guy um, has two phases, and you have to hide behind a pillar for second phase. And he usually takes longer to kill than this. If you play Wrath of the Lich King Classic, you know very well all about these dungeons because you're currently doing them. I know that they've added some new mechanics to dungeons, which is really cool. I like that they're doing classic with a twist. But there we go. That's one dungeon done. I guess I've never done Utgard keep on this character. Okay. So let's queue for another one. Because that one didn't take very long. The Wrath of the Lin Lich King dungeons are pretty short, I find. Unless you get, like, halls of stone, <laughs> halls of lightning kind of thing. So the mount that I got for the turbulent time waves was the sandy shale wave. Oops, let me show you. Looks like this. And as you can see, I have almost all of the shale wings and they all kind of look the same. I don't have the cobalt one because it's a rare drop, but I should try and get it to complete the set. 
other mount I got today was from Legion. I got a I got the Avenging Fell Crusher, I believe. So now I have all three. And these come from the Paragon Caches and Legion for the Army of the Light. So I was happy to get those. And I got another one today too. Finally, got my Headless Horseman mount. Very pleased about this one. Still going for Arphis though. He hasn't dropped for me, but I completed all of the Halloween achievements. Oh, Nexus. I haven't been here in a while. Yeah, if you go to World Events, Hallow's End, I've got them all done. So I was happy to finish that this year. The next um, day coming up, I believe, is either Day of the Dead or Thanksgiving. And that would be Thanksgiving in America, but WOW is a US-based company, so they celebrate American Thanksgiving. But I have a couple things I need to do for that, too. I never tried for the um, achievements until recently. So I'm trying to get the What a Strange Trip It's Been achievement for the Violet Proto Drake. Which is really nice. I love the Proto Drake models. So. It looks like this. It's pretty nice. It's purple. If you have any questions about my um, UI add ons, Egoras, anything like that, feel free to leave a comment. I'd be happy to let you know. I know some people are curious. I get curious when I watch other videos as well. Last time we got the Jade Serpent mount for time walking from Mists of Pandaria. I am so thankful that that week is over. I ran so many dungeons leveling my tank because I started from zero and I leveled it with some friends just doing time walking once we hit 45 last week and it was really fun but I'm so sick of the dungeons by the end of it but luckily the Mists of Pandaria dungeons are super short so it was quick Halloween is, well, when I'm recording this, Halloween is soon, so I hope you guys are excited, and if you celebrate Halloween, I'd love to know what kind of costumes you guys are wearing. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, because I love everything spooky, um, but I, I'm not a great dresser-upper or anything, but I love seeing other people's costumes. So for this one, we've got a Vengeance Demon Hunter as our tank, and we have a Resto Shaman as our healer, another Havoc Demon Hunter, Red Paladin, and this is an Arms Warrior. So lots of melee. I have a demon hunter that's not fully leveled yet, but I think they're quite fun, and with the rework they're getting next season, I think people are going to be really happy. We're going to see some more demon hunters as well.
I love Red Paladin. It's so fun. If you've been watching my um, classic leveling series, I'm playing a paladin, but I don't think Rep Paladin's great in classic, so not sure if we'll do prot or something else, maybe holy. But since it's hardcore, I don't think I'll do holy. Maybe prot would be best to keep us from dying. So I guess we're not going to do the other boss. Not sure where we're going. <laughs> um, I do have chat turned off just because I find it can be really distracting in the videos and some people can be really rude um, and I don't think people want to see that so much. <laughs> they have no idea where they're going. I'm just gonna go to the next boss and hope they figure it out. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes all it takes is one person just to, to nudge people in the right direction. We're gonna fight Anomalous now. Um, if, if you've ever played The Wrath dungeons, my least favorite by far is going to be Oculus, and I'm sure if you've played it, you know exactly why it's my least favorite. On time walking, it's really easy, but I just find it so annoying to have to mount up, fly around, mount up, fly around. So, it's just not my favorite one, but I don't mind any of the other ones. Except for maybe Forge of Souls. That one's not that great either, I don't think. Yeah, I, if you've ever jumped off here and died, I'm with you. I've done it before. <laughs> I pulled by accident, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. I think the demon hunter fell, did it? No. Yeah, he did. <laughs> See? It happens to everybody. They introduced the new ping system in WoW retail and can be sort of annoying. Like this person's like, look here, attack. It's like, yeah, we know, but we're waiting for our tank. <laughs> um, new raid starts November 7th, and I have a feeling my raid leader is gonna go off the handle with those pings. I think it'll be really funny. I truthfully don't even know how to use them. Where is our friend? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna pull maybe. It doesn't really matter. that shamans have travel forms. I use the um, fox for mine, but there's also a wolf, a raptor. I'm not sure if there's any more, but I think they look really neat. The default is the wolf, so it's probably the one most people have seen.
I have been uh, trying to figure out my audio so that it's still ASMR, but it's loud enough because I've had a couple people mention in the comments that it's too quiet. Um, so let me know if this seems a bit better. I've been working with a limiter and trying to figure that out. Um, a lot of this is new to me and I'm always learning, so I really appreciate the feedback and it means a lot to me. Okay, so I've got a bunch of tiny little plants and some big plants. My character is um, a jewel crafter, but in here you can definitely get lots of um, herbalism if you are a herbalist. Okay, so we're on Oramont, or Ormorok, the tree shaper, and then we just have Karastrasa left, and then we're all done. I think there's, this might be the last week of time walking, or there's one more, I can't remember. I guess I could look. See. Okay, yeah, so that's the end, is on Tuesday. And then we have Day of the Dead. And Hallow's End ends as well. And then we're back to Dark Moon Fair, and then Time Walking starts again. <laughs> Looks like Warlords of Draenor. I always find it so interesting that as a paladin, you can attack from your mount. It's so weird. I'm not used to it at all, but it looks like I'm not doing anything because I'm sitting on my, my elephant. <laughs> I like tanking because my people usually follow the tank, and since I know all the dungeons, it goes pretty fast. When I'm DPS, I feel like I kind of have to follow whatever the tank is doing, and if they go and pull random stuff, then I kind of have to help. <laughs> it's my job. But sometimes I just want to speed through time walking. But at the same time, I know people use it to level, so killing more mobs is usually preferable for them. It's a give and take. I usually ask if there's like optional bosses. I'll ask in the chat, like, do you want this optional boss or do you, can we skip it? Most people say skip, um, but sometimes. All right. We also got an achievement, which I already have on my other character. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed this Retribution Paladin time walking in Wrath of the Lich King. I always have fun doing these, so if you'd like to see more, let me know. And if not, that's okay too. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I found this relaxing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.